Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, Mr. Mooney, I'm so sorry, but I was in such a hurry to tell you the good news. Boy, are you going to be surprised. About what? I won first place in a dog food contest. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I've tasted your cooking. I didn't make the dog food. I just entered the contest, and I won a trip to London. Look, here's my ticket. My plane leaves Monday morning. Well, what makes you think you can take off from work just like that? Oh, well, I have some days coming to me. I've been saving up my sick leave. Your sick leave? Yes, yes, sir. And, oh, you don't know what I've gone through to save up those few measly days. Oh, some days I have been so miserable. Oh, well, I never realized you were so dedicated. Oh, yes. You know, one day I came to work in such pain that I had to ask the bank guard to give me a bullet to bite on. Why, you poor thing. Well... However, Mrs. Carmichael, it is impossible for you to leave at this time. Why? Because I have to go east next week on business, and I want someone to be here in this office. But, Mr. Mooney, last year we both took our vacations at the same time. Nobody even missed us. Exactly, and I never want that to happen again. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney, that's a thanks I get for all the hard work I've done, all the long hours of concentration I've put in. On what? On my dog food jingle. Dog food jingle? Yeah, the one that I won the prize with. I feed my doggy arf arf. I buy it by the bunch. I know it's tasty dog food. I eat it myself for lunch. <laughs> you wrote that? Yes, I did. Oh, you do need sick leave. Oh. oh, Mr. Mooney, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm going to London. I'm going to London. I'm going to tell the girls. Oh. I'm going to London. I'm going to <laughs> Oh, Mary Jane, I'm so excited. There it is. There it is. British Imperial Airways. You know what it said on the ticket. From the moment you step up to the counter, you feel a bit of Britain. Oh. Isn't it exciting? Lucy, but you better hurry, honey. You have to check your ticket. Yeah, okay, honey. Oh, dear. Where's your ticket? I must have left it in my bag. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. my bag. I can't oh, in my bag. Ask this man. What am I going to do? Ask this man. Sir, sir, excuse me. I'm on my way to London and I had my ticket and I left it in my bag and I put my bag down there and it went that way and I don't know how to get it back. Oh, really? Well, in all, in all the way when this is very long, you know, the bail bill says I don't fancy the bag and I couldn't be... I couldn't even do that, you know. What? The only possible way we're going to be back around the bail bill is this year, so I don't fancy the bag and I couldn't be... It's only possible thing you can do, really. Did you understand what he said? No. Uh... Excuse me, sir. Perhaps your friend could help me? Oh, Cedric called all of these Americans, you know. Right out, Devlin. As I understand it, you're in a bit of a tiz was because you went and lost your blooming doodah, lady? Yes, yes, I lost my blooming doodah, lady, and I want to know how to get it back. But there's no need to get yourself in a state. Well, of course I'm in a state. My plane's ready to take off, and, and, and my, my, my tickets are in my bag. My bag took off without me, and I don't know how to get it. Perhaps I can be of some help, ladies. Oh, I hope so. I sure would appreciate if it. If you don't mind, sir. What this man was trying to tell you is that the baggage room's in the basement. In the basement? Oh, thank... Basement? I don't know if I have time to get to the basement. My plane is taking off for London. Uh, flight 19. Well, how soon does Flight 19 leave? It just left. Just left? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I knew 
knew this was too good to be true. Honey, I told you to get an earlier start. <laughs> Don't get so upset. Uh, Look, there's a plane leaving for New York in a few minutes. I'm not going to New York. I'm going to London. I know. If you take the plane from here to New York, there they can get your connections on to London. Oh, can they do that? Oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Now, remember thank to take your tickets to the main ticket company. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my tickets. I got to get my tickets. Yeah, I got to get my tickets. Lucy, what are you doing? I'm going to get me blown and do, darling. Seat. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, would you like me to take that for you? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, miss. Uh, yes? Uh, I keep forgetting about the difference in time. Do I set my watch ahead or back? Oh, it's three hours later in New York. Oh, well, uh, I'm not just going to New York. I'm, I'm going all the way to uh, London, London, England, and Europe. <laughs> How very nice. Uh, the time difference is eight hours between here and London. London, England. In Europe. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, sir, yes. I wonder if you would do me a favor. Yeah, what is it? Uh, you see, my girlfriend is here to see me off, and I promised to wave to her, but I don't think she can see me. Would you wave to Mary Jane? She's the one in the green suit right by the gate. Just just give her a little wave. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, look, she's waving back to us, and she's throwing me a kiss. <laughs> she's the very best girlfriend I've got. Would you mind throwing her a kiss? <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Oh, I would love to get a shot of her uh, just waving to me. Would, would you just draw back a little bit? Oh, uh, look, you, uh, maybe you better take it. Maybe you better just press this little thing right here. Yes. Now, look, get her attention. Wave to her. Wave to her. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. She really is my very best girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you. I'm terribly sorry. Uh, I'm sitting on the wrong side of the plane to, to wave goodbye to her. Uh, may I take your coat? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, I guess so. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, later, I may have some coffee, tea, or milk. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, I don't blame you for being surprised. I missed my plane. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> well, I'm going to New York on this plane, and then I get my plane for London from there. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> my, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And with you in it, no wonder they're racing for the moon. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, you know, you ought to be glad that I'm sitting here with you instead of some stranger. After all, it's a long trip, and you'll have someone nice to talk to. Mrs. Carmichael, when I arrive in New York, I'm going directly to an important meeting. Listen. That's why I'm studying these documents. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be disturbed. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> a wonderful age we live in. Breakfast in Los Angeles, lunch in New York, dinner in London. Isn't it exciting? Frankly, my business takes me on so many transcontinental overseas trips that it isn't very exciting for me. I get pretty sick of flying. Oh, really? Well, actually, I, I get a little bored now and then, too, yeah. Fasten <laughs> your seatbelts, please. Oh, I guess we're going to take <laughs> off, huh?
You better fasten your seatbelt. I'd be happy to if you'd give me the other half of my belt. Oh, you have... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have two buckles. Oh, for heaven's sake. Mm. You have part of mine. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why they don't have them right in the first place. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Since the takeoff portion of our flight will be over water, I'd like to demonstrate how to put on the life jackets, which you'll find under your seat. Sir, she wants you to pay attention. I've seen this a hundred times. Oh, oh yeah, it's a real drag. It, it really <laughs> The chances of your having to use the life jackets are very remote, but regulations require this demonstration. After the jacket is securely tied, it is inflated by pulling this cord. Jacket should be inflated only after leaving the plane. Thank you very much. No, thank you. It's for your ears. <laughs> for my ears? Oh, of course. I forgot. <laughs> does gum really help? Oh, yes. Chewing the gum does seem to help relieve the pressure during the takeoff. Thank you. so used to wearing them, I forget I have them on. <laughs> oh, I, I'm glad you're through with your work, Mr. Mooney. I was feeling kind of lonesome. Carmichael, I'm going to listen to some nice, quiet music and try to get some rest. Oh, is that what those are? Sir, 
certainly hope they serve lunch soon. I didn't have any breakfast. to press the button on the arm at the same time. Oh, of course, I forget. All planes are different. <laughs> oh, I, I found it. I have it now. Yes. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you have a bad dream? No, I didn't have a bad dream. Miss, your button is on this arm. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Thank you. Would you care for some champagne? Champagne? Oh, thank you. Would you care for some? Hi. This is delicious. Happy landing. Bon voyage. Oh, the boniest. <laughs> what was that? Just a little turbulence. A little turbulence? Oh. I hope they don't have too much of that up here. <laughs> Oh, my. Was that some more turbulence? It's getting a little rough. It certainly is. More champagne? Why not? something. What? You're awfully nice. Thank you. I think I'm going to tell you a little secret. A secret? I've never flown before. You're kidding. You couldn't tell, could you? I would have sworn you were Peter Pan. <laughs> Boy, I hope they serve lunch pretty soon. I think we're heading into a little storm. Really? Ditching. Ditching. The plane's ditching! 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 
nothing but trouble since you came aboard. <laughs> Fell out of your seat, you wrecked the luggage rack, and now you've got the whole plane in an uproar. Now, everybody, just be calm. Everything's going to be all right. Now, take your seats. Sit down, sir. Everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> 